Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Either way, I'm so excited to have you guys here today. I know I always say that, but I am really excited to bring a video for you guys. I know this is not my usual upload day. And honestly, I just thought that I would give Friday a shot um, and see how it goes. So let me know if you guys like this Friday upload and if you don't, that's okay too. I'm actually going to be doing a cleaning video over the course of two days. So it did take me a couple of days to get all of this done. I am not superwoman. It is very hard for me to get all of the cleaning that I need to get done in one day. So I did take a few days and just tackle my mental to-do list. And we are just gonna start out upstairs today. I really wanted to get the upstairs cleaned up because it was really bothering me between our bedroom and the kids' bedrooms. They were all just a mess and they all needed to be picked up. So that is what I'm gonna focus on doing here, starting out in my husband and I's room, just getting the bed made and getting the floors picked up and everything put back into their place. It's me and my friends. These are the good times. I saw my friend Jamie from Jamie's Journey doing this in one of her recent videos and I wanted to kind of do it on my channel. So in the comments, I want you guys to ask me questions. Any question that you want, anything that you are wanting to know or maybe you're curious about and ask them in the comments and I will answer a few questions in my next video. I just feel like it's more fun talking to you guys, not necessarily about cleaning, but just in general. It can be cleaning related questions or it can be about life, motherhood, marriage, whatever it is that you guys want to ask me. And I thought it would be fun to do that. So it'll be in my voiceovers. It won't be like a sit down portion like I did in a recent video. It'll just be while I'm cleaning here, like I'm talking now, I'll be answering some of your guys' questions. So definitely leave those down below. I think it would be so much fun and I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. Something that I've been really wanting to tackle lately is vacuuming under our bed. Now we have two cats and they tend to be under here all the time. We have been letting them into our bedroom at night to cuddle and stuff, but mainly they just like to play under the bed. So I really wanted to pull everything out, get it all vacuumed, and then this also gave me the opportunity to go through the things that I had down here. There was just some like trash and like wrapping paper scrappings and stuff like thrown under the bed so it was nice to be able to go through all of that stuff and make sure I'm not like holding on to anything that I don't need that might be hiding under my bed where I cannot see. I also really wanted to focus on wiping down a lot of the surfaces in the upstairs bedrooms and you'll see me doing this in Savannah and Barrett's room as well. 
I don't know, I just feel like it wasn't really that dusty, but I felt in the mood to dust and I felt like it completed the room after I had done this. So it is just something that I like to do every now and then and just get it nice and clean, smelling good. And it just kind of transitions the whole room and makes it feel a lot better. So this is going to sound really random, especially while I'm cleaning the bathroom, but I wanted to just pop on here and talk to you guys about this. So if you do not follow me on Instagram, I actually kind of rebranded my Instagram into a fashion blog. And it is something that is just a hobby. It's something that I thought would be a lot of fun and it has been so much fun and I'm very passionate about and I'm feeling very inspired about. And I'm basically just sharing outfits that are modest and casual and just great for moms or anybody who wants to share in my interest of fashion. Um, like I was saying, it is more of like a casual style. I don't do anything too fancy um, because I am a mom and let's be honest, I'm not going to be wearing like heels every single day but I still like to look nice and trendy but still modest at the same time because I do feel like fashion nowadays especially with the younger generation is a lot more um, showy more than I would probably wear for myself so I don't know I just thought it would be fun it's been so much fun doing it you guys have been loving it too and just pumping me up in my dms and I don't know I've just been really enjoying it um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, that's okay. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I will leave my handle here. Um, and I also had a lot of people confused because I did change my Instagram handle from Whitney P to Honey Style Blog. And a lot of people were like, um, who is this? So <laughs> I don't know. It's just been a lot of fun. If you don't want to follow along that journey, I am not offended. Um, I didn't really use my Instagram for hardly really anything, so I figured it would be fun to do that. I'm still sharing, you know, like normal daily life, my cleaning videos um, when they go up and stuff like that as well over there. But yeah, so if you guys are interested, I will leave my handle here on the screen. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm yours until the end of time. I'm breaking out my good old Bissell Walmart vacuum to vacuum upstairs today. Now I know I share a lot of different vacuums on my channel, but that is just because I love cleaning. It is something that I thoroughly enjoy doing. This is a hobby for me and so I want to make sure you guys know that. Um, and when I share products with you guys, it is stuff that I actually love. I have sent back so many different vacuums and other products that I just didn't love because I didn't want to fake it um, for money. You know what I mean? So I'm only sharing products that I truly love. And so when I was sharing all of my Hoover vacuums, it's because I actually really do love those vacuum cleaners. But I still love my good old Walmart Bissell vacuum. I just feel like it gets so much out of the carpets that any cordless stick vacuum could possibly not. And I don't know, it just makes my floors feel a lot cleaner. The cordless vacuums are nice when you're like in a hurry, you need to vacuum really quickly. But um, when I'm trying to get a nice deep clean, I definitely like to use that canister vacuum. I just feel like it does a lot better of a job. And yeah, so I did go ahead and vacuum our bedroom and I will be vacuuming the kids' bedrooms as well. But I am just going to move in here, get everything cleaned up again, tidied up, making beds, dusting, the whole shebang, and just getting everything put back together. We're falling, falling down, we fading. But I know, I know that we can save it. 
Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of us down I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega Like the waves pull you down underwater We're fun until we hit the bottom I know I'm getting a little bit chatty in this cleaning video today, but I just have a lot um, on my mind and on my heart lately that I feel like a lot of you guys can probably resonate with or maybe, you know, you kind of go through the same things as me. At the end of the day, I'm just a normal person. I live a normal life. I live in a normal house in a normal town. I'm not anything fancy. I know I choose to show my life here on the internet, but that doesn't mean that I'm any less normal of a person than you guys. I'm still, you know, I'm still a human being. I still have messes. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. And um, going along with that, I, my house is always a mess. Let's be honest. And it has taken me a really long time to just accept that this is the season of life that I'm in. My house is going to be a mess. I have two small kids. I have two cats. And it's just the way that things are in my house. And for so long, I would compare myself both to people on YouTube, but also to my friends in real life, because I do have people in my life that do have spotless homes. And every time I go over there, I'm like, how in the world is your house so clean? Like, it just makes no sense to me. And for the longest time, I would let it bother me. And I would stress about having a clean house to the point that I would just completely malfunction. I would be angry all the time. I would lash out at people. I was just always stressed out about the mess. Now, don't get me wrong. I feel so much better when my house is clean, but I have just accepted that that is not a realistic thing for me. My house is not going to be spotless. It's just not going to be. Now, I do love cleaning. I clean all the time. It's something that I love to do, but I also have to remember at the end of the day, I am a mom, I have a family, we make messes, and so having a spotless house is just not a practical thing for me. And I think the hardest thing for me to realize this about myself was, you know, I do get negative comments here on YouTube and I don't typically really let them bother me, but sometimes they do get to you. You know, you, you get called lazy, you get called um, dirty and trashy because your house is a mess, but you know, those things, used to really bother me and I'm just really starting to not care anymore. This is my life. This is how my life is. I do show the real messes, the crumbs, the the dirty floors and the dirty dishes in the sink because I am a human being and my family is a real family and so this is just how life is for us. So I just thought I would share that little rant with you guys. I wouldn't really call it a rant but something from my heart because I know so many of us compare to people on the internet like why is my house not you know as clean as theirs or as big as theirs but you guys need to remember that people only share what they want to share and you don't see their lives all the time so just because their life may look perfect on the internet does not mean that it is perfect so just wanted to share that with you guys um and I'm going to stop talking now. Um, this is actually day two of my multiple day cleaning with me. I don't know why I'm saying multiple day like I did it over a course of five days. It, two days here. Um, I am taking my Hoover vacuum to vacuum down the couch really quickly. And this thing did a really nice job on this, by the way. Um, and just getting all those crumbs and whatnot out of the couch. I'm looking back at this footage and realizing that I really need to wash our couch covers.
couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years gone by, but I think about you, about you all the time. Looks like you're changing and all. I know I was getting quite chatty there for a minute, so I figured I would let the music run and you guys can just get some music motivation to continue cleaning, if you're cleaning along with me. Um, I am going to clean up our half bathroom here really quickly. I just wanted to wipe down the countertops, the sink, and get the toilet cleaned up. Um, I did mention in a recent video that I have been trying to be better about cleaning the bathrooms. Um, I do have a daughter who's potty training, so she's constantly touching the toilets. And it is something that I'm trying to clean every day, if not every other day. I'm going to get a load of um, clothes. Wow, I don't know why I couldn't think of the word. I'm going to get a load of laundry started here um, and then I'm gonna move into the kitchen and we are gonna start cleaning up the kitchen. I waited until after dinner to clean because I felt like it was pointless to film myself cleaning the kitchen just to make a mess, just to have to clean again. So I did wait until after dinner to do this portion. Um, I had a full load of dishes to put away in the dishwasher, so I am just going to quickly do that. And then I'm just going to kind of work around the kitchen, you know, doing the dishes, wiping down the counters, and just getting everything picked up in here. It was a little bit dirty this day. I wouldn't say messy. It was actually dirty. There was a lot of crumbs on the floor, a lot of um, spills on the counters to be cleaned up, and just a lot to do in the kitchen today. So I am just going to take... The remainder of the video to spend and really deep clean and get in here and just get the kitchen put back together. I am going to get into some sink cleaning here. Now, ever since we remodeled our kitchen, I love cleaning out our sink. I don't know what it is, but it's just very 
therapeutic for me and I feel like it really completes the kitchen. Um, I do do this every single night. It is something that I actually enjoy doing. Um, but despite that, I'm also going to be using these little, they're like garbage disposal cleaner pod things that I get off of the Gro Grove website. Um, and I'm just going to use that to kind of freshen up the garbage disposal and just get everything smelling nice and clean um, in the kitchen sink. Lately, I have been really struggling with motivation, um, just in life in general, but mainly with cleaning. I typically, I really do enjoy cleaning, but there are days that I really just do not feel like cleaning. And today was one of those days for me. Um, and sometimes I like to watch some of my friends videos and get motivated by them. And for the most part that does work, but other days, it just makes me not want to clean even more. I'm almost exhausted watching some of them and I know you guys can definitely relate to that. But I wanted to ask you guys, who are your favorite cleaning YouTubers to watch? Because there are just so many incredible people here on YouTube and I know that I do not know everybody on here and maybe there's some channels that I'm really missing out on. So I want you guys to give me some recommendations in the comments. Let me know who your favorites are because I would love to go and check them out. your body, body, your body too, yeah, body too, will you be my ride or die, around all these people, we'll try to be someone better than you and I, posing for pictures, but nobody listens to anything that you have to say, can we just leave and walk away, walk away, walk away. Just above it all But I want you lying next to me Yeah, I want your body, body, body too Yeah, body too And baby, please don't think I'll run away from you It's just sometimes I get scared to dive into it I want you lying next to me Yeah, I want your body Whenever I went to clean my oven the other day, it left quite a mess under here. And it's so funny watching this clip back because I missed so much dirt when I was vacuuming and I thought it was gonna be so like satisfying to watch and it wasn't. So I'm just laughing at myself about that clip. But um, I went ahead and tried to vacuum under there and then I am just gonna quickly vacuum down the kitchen because I really wanted to get in here and mop. And I am in serious business mode here because I never move my chairs to mop. I know that sounds really gross, but um, it's just the laziness in me. Sometimes I don't feel like carrying all nine of those chairs over <laughs> onto the side of the room just to mop in here. Um, but I really wanted to just go ahead and get it done and just do this and really mop my kitchen and just get it nice and clean. Why don't we go back to
The last thing that I'm going to do in today's video is mop down the kitchen and that's actually going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you leave feeling encouraged and inspired and motivated to get some cleaning done in your home today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. I don't feel like waking up without you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to your bed?